Welcome back. Over in Blount County, two organizations are teaming up to turn this building into a new state-of-the-art kitchen and classroom for one community. I visited the construction site to catch up with those making it possible in today's Smile Check. In the hills of Louisville sits this small building. While it may look outdated, something new will be cooked up soon. We're taking about a thousand square foot building and we're going to be remodeling it and turning it into a culinary school for special needs folks. Tommy Roberts and his team with Hope with a Hammer usually work on disaster relief. But this time, they're taking on the renovations in their own community. When we came to visit uh, the work site, the location here, uh, we just brought the vision up a little higher and we're going to make it nice from the inside out. Brand new kitchen, new appliances, uh, great workspace and just make it a really nice culinary school for these people. It's all happening at Riverwood Christian Community. They're an inclusive ministry helping people living with mental and physical disabilities. Beth Steele is a crucial part of this recipe for success as well with her own charity, Elizabeth's Place. I just had this idea that I wanted to work with special needs and I have a nephew that's a special needs. So I uh, decided to do this and work with them and show them how to do culinary skills to get them back out into the community and work in restaurants. Steele says in this kitchen, all the ingredients will be in place for these people to contribute to the area they call home. They want to be part of the community. That's, that's one of their biggest wants. They don't want to be tucked away in a corner somewhere and just given odd and things to do. They want to be part of what everybody else does in this community. Once you start working with these folks, uh, it's so special and they, they, just, they make you realize just how special life is around you basically and you know that we, here we are we complain about things and just you know go on about that but they show you the happiness in the world and it is so awesome to work with them all right now just great work from all three of those groups organizations coming together to make this happen their goal is to have that facility completed by the holidays of course we're going to keep you posted on their project on their project i hope to bring you some updated pictures when it's complete they're still working on fundraising for it though it will cost a total of about thirty six thousand dollars again for the entire project so far they've raised about twelve thousand we have this information under this story on wate.com if you would like to go donate